When I listen to you explain data service, I am also thinking about the recent CNCF report. And one thing is clear when we look at CNCF landscape that, yes, it's a very crowded, very busy space. There are so many logos you see there. But it also means there is a lot of complexity there. So uh, there is a rise of managed services. Do you also have that in pipeline? Because when I look at N9s, what I look at is you are helping customers. So uh, the problem with managed services is that they are opinionated, you know. Uh, so sometimes customers want flexibility. They want to be able to move when you build platforms. So can you talk about where is managed services in your pipeline, depending on how much you can share at this point? We've always been a comprehensive solution provider in the sense that we not only ship uh, software modules that can be consumed by the enterprise, but we also provide operations for them. In uh, With our Cloud Foundry uh, and, and VM-based um, N9 platform, uh, customers can tell us to operate their whole and entire stack for them. That's, that's what we usually do. We have a second offering where uh, customers, we call that operation support, where customers operate these environments themselves, but we help them to take the releases um, uh, and, and test them in their environments, prepare the configuration. So they'll perform all the tasks, but we help them to, to get that organized and obviously provide them support if something goes wrong. Now that with Kubernetes is upcoming, it is a, the situation is a bit different because you don't have those homogenous large environments anymore. It becomes more complicated to provide uh, remote operations because you don't exactly know how the client wants, wants this more modular platform be put together. So currently we uh, continue to have the remote operation services also for Kubernetes-based environments, but we'll add a new, um, um, a new service, which we call uh, N9's managed services um, for uh, application workloads. And this is uh, basically taking uh, remote management one step further. While um, our existing operations, they, they operate platforms and pl platform extensions. So for example, um, you can uh, look at a Prometheus from an application developer standpoint, it would be a data service. But from the platform operator perspective, it's an extension to the platform because it's an integral part that will be used to, uh, let's say, see if the metrics are according to the desired SLA. So these extensions, uh, or let's say a key cloak for authentication purposes, like those things, they are usually part of the environments and we have remote operations for them. But especially with Kubernetes, and clients who are in a transition to adopt cloud-native um, software development, they sometimes also have a desire where they have an application system that they want to have up and running, but the application developers are so under pressure that it is hard for them to implement the you build it, you run it principle that was once proposed by uh, Werner Vogels. And they are looking for somebody who will take care of their of their Kubernetes clusters, including their application workloads. So this is something that we uh, that we started to do with uh, selected clients um, because there was such a, a demand and uh, people were asking us whether we could uh, render such services.